friends! I'm Mita Case in the Flower Shop, and today we are making something very special because we all know that I love pizza, but I also love cookies and cake, so I thought, why not just combine it all? We are making a pizza cookie cake kit. It has magic frosting, and I'm so excited. It's so easy. All you need is a little bit of butter, one egg, and a whole lot of magic. So I'm gonna start with room temperature butter, both my frosting and my chocolate chip cookie cake butter are room temperature, and you know what, so is my egg. So I'm going to just make sure that my butter is nice and fluffy. One egg. And our mix for our cookie cake. Pour it all in. Oof, chocolate. We just made cookie dough. That was amazing. It smells so good. I'm gonna use an eight inch gold touch nonstick pan. Before I put in my cookie dough, I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and greasy though, just because we want the cookie cake to come right out and not break in half or anything like that. I'm just gonna press it in because it is very thick. It's not like a cake. It's not going to sort of fill itself out. So we're just gonna have to make sure that we're pressing it in evenly. Once it starts to heat up and bake, it will start to flatten out, but you just wanna make sure that it has a good, even head start. I'm gonna pop this into the oven, and then we're gonna get decorating. Now for the frosting. This is actual magic. I'm not a magician, but wait till you see this. Okay, so we are going to make sure that our butter is nice and fluffy, and again, it started room temperature. Okay, so now that our butter is nice and whipped, it's very little butter because we're only gonna smear the top a little bit. Check this out. This is white, you're looking at it, but watch this. You see that? I told you. It's working. The more you mix it, the brighter red you'll get. How cool is that? It's red. <laughs> Told you guys, it was real magic. I'm sorry, but was that not like the coolest trick ever? <laughs> Our chocolate chip cookie cake is ready. Now let's turn it into a pizza. Oh, this is so good. Now that I've let this cool for 15 minutes, I'm going to pop it out and be so careful not to break the cookie. We're just gonna ever so gently Take it off. Ooh, look at that, beautiful. Okay, and now we get to frost it. And while I start frosting, I'm going to pop the white chocolate, AKA our cheese, straight into the microwave. So this is just like a pizza. What do we start with? Our sauce. So here I'm going to spread a thin layer all the way around. And I like to push a lot of it to the edges because as we do our cheese and our other toppings, we're gonna to cover most of the center, but I wanna make sure that I have a really nice edge. So now that I've done this, I'm gonna go get my melts from the microwave. It does get pretty hot, but cools down very easily. Don't wait for it to cool too long, because if you do, guess what? It's chocolate, it gets hard again. For right now, I'm going to use this melted version, because my pizza is gonna look like it just came out of the oven. <laughs> So I cut a little tip off the piping bag. You can cut as little or as much as you want. And what you wanna do is just press down all the chocolate to make sure that you could get your little twist grip. I like to start going around the edge and then sort of swirling my way in. So I'm gonna use an offset spatula. You can use anything you like. This looks a little perfect. I'm gonna mess up the edges a little bit so it does look like melted cheese. So this will take about a few minutes just to cool back. But before it cools, I'm going to put these pepperonis so that they stick and hold into the cheese like you would a real pizza. It's not actual pepperoni. I have chocolate. So yeah, use as many or as few as you'd like. And same with the basil or peppers, whatever you'd like. I chop mine up. You can go as big or small as you want. And you can just sort of place them in however you like. And you can see the chocolate is already starting to get a little hard on the edges because that's where there was less. So you wanna move a little fast with this if you actually wanna incorporate it into 
the chocolate, but I think that looks good. That easy, you guys. Ta-da! My chocolate is still a little melty, but that's how I like my pizza. <laughs> This piece of chocolate chip cookie cake along with our other baking kids are available on williamsonoma.com and they're all delicious.